Hey, what's going on, AP Euro? Uh, it's my Monday morning message, um, my usual weekly uh, communication with you guys. Um, I want to give you a rundown for the week. So today, Monday, May 4th, make sure you guys are logging into that College Board website and doing that AP, uh, the demo day. All right, uh, getting you guys ready for the AP test. If you haven't had a chance, please look through that Google slide that I sent out. That's very informative um, for the day of test, testing instructions, letting you guys know what you can and can't do, um, how to submit, um, and, and all the other information. So please look through that. Um, I, I will give a shout out, Emma. Great job. So you were on the document, all right? I don't know if you made an edit to it or not, but it said last edit was made by Emma Mickley. So I'm a little concerned. Hopefully you didn't change any dates or anything like that. But I was excited to see that you had logged in and looked at it. So um, please get on there, guys. Check it out. Please get on the AP College Board website today and do that demo day. It's not so much like – it's not work, really. It's just going to show you guys like, okay – this is what it's going to look like when it uploads. This is what it'll look like when you get the question. This is how the timer is going to work. This is how you'll submit. And so it's going to walk you through everything. So the day of the test, no matter if it's in my class or another AP class, you're going to feel really confident. Um, make sure you do the AP Euro one. You know, take any helpful tools or hints with you um, and use them. You know, this week, guys, uh, this is pretty much our last week of content and doing stuff. Um, we will have two more breakdowns to do. Now, I'm not having you guys write anymore, so uh, this is all review of breaking down the content. So uh, I think it's French Revolution and Modernization of Russia that I'm going to give you guys. So on Tuesday and Wednesday, you're going to get French Revolution. You're going to have the question. You're going to break down the documents. I believe there's five documents um, that you need to break down for it, just so you guys are refreshing yourself on the content, what was going on, um, and then you can use any of this on the test. So um, it's really good to have this already built up, this bank of information um, that you can go back to. Russian modernization is another one because that's a that's an expansive period of time. You know, Peter the Great, often the terrible, St. Petersburg, Moscow, everything that happened, uh, imperialism, them trying to westernize. Um, so there's a lot of information in there and outside information you can add into those documents that you can keep that running list of so you can then jump back to it on your test if something you want to talk about references modernization you can say well hey in russia they were doing this during this time under this ruler and that is very similar to maybe if they're talking about modernization in central europe or, or in great britain or france uh, during a time period so remember all this stuff it, it's not busy work it's it's supposed to help you refresh your information on the content in these areas you guys have already written enough dbqs you know how to do it um everything looked really good uh you made a lot of improvements on your dbqs from last time you know i'm really confident in the writing ability it's just now making sure you have that content that outside information ready to go um and, and you're confident you know this friday is the last day that uh, we have to give out any new information. So uh, I know you guys are turning in stuff on the 8th, textbooks and, and, th and uniforms and stuff like that um, to the school. Please keep your textbook if you're a senior. Um, use it on the test, okay? Um, and then you can turn it in at a later date. Um, that's not a problem. Or if, you're in, if you miss a test and have to do the makeup, you can use it on the makeup date in June. Um, so keep a hold of your textbook. Remember, you've marked in it. You know, I would earmark or put um, post-it notes in it so you know exactly where to go to to find information on the test. Like, hey, this is all over 30 years war. Paper clip it, put a bookmark, boom, go to it. So it can be a quick reference for you uh, during the test. Um, trying to think some other things. So next week, guys, next week I'll give you a Monday morning message, and, and it will it'll just be really reviewing on your own for the AP test. There's going to be nothing new. Um, if you have any assignments you need to finish for me, you can finish those um, and submit them to me. But then I get your grades turned in. So um, seniors is pretty much it, man. Uh, we're, we're coming down to the nitty gritty. I got my AP Euro cords. Sydney said, thanks for the drop off for those. I'll be rocking those on the 23rd when I'm at your graduation uh, ceremony, guys. So I know I'm extremely excited and proud uh, of everything you've done. You know, with that being said, guys. Um, you know, it's always, always give this talk to my class, but you know, uh, this senior class, uh, I, I've had a lot of you guys before, uh, in us and in sports and, you know, just interacted with you throughout the school year, um, previous to this year. 
Uh, and some of you guys that I just had this year and got to know, um, you guys are all amazing students. You guys have all done a phenomenal job, and I'm, I'm, I'm so proud of everything you've done and the way you've handled yourself. Um, you know, you guys are really going to be a class I miss. I, I really enjoyed every third period coming in, uh, the conversations we'd have, the jokes, just the pure interaction. You guys are all genuine, uh, great human beings, great people. You have very bright futures ahead of you. Uh, I'm going to miss having you guys in class, but you know, we got one more week, uh, one more video message, um, and then, you know, the future's all in front of you guys, and, and I know you guys are all going to do really great things. Uh, I just hope you guys stay in touch. If you ever need anything, shoot me an email. Uh, you, you know, you're in college and you're like, hey, I, I need a reference for my master's. Send it to me. I'll fill it out. Um, just know I will do anything and everything for you guys, all right? Um if you need anything, just let me know. We'll have a our Canvas conference on Wednesday to answer any questions. Um, you know, take it easy. Some of you guys have got everything turned in. You know, finish the breakdowns. And man, you can just relax after this um, and soak it all in and enjoy it. And uh, it's been a heck of a ride. It's been a great journey. Uh, I'm glad I got to do it with you guys. Um, so you guys laugh at my jokes too. So that helps out. But, you know, I, I wasn't going to end my last video message without a little cuteness factor. Um, thanks Melvin for bringing that into my life and making me do that now in my every presentation that I do. But I've been working really hard guys over break. And I want you to know that on, um, puzzles. So I've mastered now my, my, my two plus puzzle. So I want to show you real quick. So I have this puzzle here. And it's taken me a few weeks. I've been trying to figure out the names of what each one is. And, and I think I got it. I think I'm finally there. So bear with me, all right? Yeah, oh yeah. One for one. All right. Oh yeah, it fell out. <laughs> Not good. <laughs> That's a come boss. There we go. The cow. There we go. There we go. Mm -hmm. Peggy. Mm -hmm. Right there. Oh my god. I, I should I should time myself. I bet I could set a world record. I beat my kids in this all the time. And let me tell you, they are embarrassed. I, I make fun of them. I want them to know that I am the best in the house. But this is a new personal best. That was under a minute. I've never done that before. So you guys just witnessed something pretty iconic. So I just... Hope you guys have a great Monday. Have a great week. I'll see you guys. Enjoy the weather. Go Pacers.